Got a great treat right now. We've got some of the pros with Hall of Fame Lily Yip, Barry Detell, Ariel Shing, and Timothy Wong about to start this quarterfinal mixed doubles action. Definitely a name recognition match here. And it's quarterfinals for big money. A little bit of a contrast with age. Both Lily and Barry, very strong in the senior division, clearly against two of our Olympic stars from London. We just saw a very good down the line forehand loop by Ariel. As we've mentioned so much earlier on the telecast about how strong Ariel's backhand is, you can't forget you don't get to 2,500 without having a Substantive four. Yes. <laughs> and she, she can play the ball anywhere. It's just the challenges is when she's playing against the best Chinese in the world. Which shot would she rather be playing? And clearly her backhand is at the world-class level in both timing and direction. I could also say that this match does have some heavy appeal because uh, we are, although we're not filled in the stadium, uh, we are getting people watching this. And uh, that's good because I think the uh, athletes deserve some spectators. Uh, and support with applause. And clearly as we get farther into the deeper elements, nice forehand attack there. Wow, 6-2, Ariel's team. And it's gonna be a little bit of an uphill climb for the Lily of Table Tennis Center, but Good shot. very, very wily with his forehand attack there, very known for his heavy backhand topspin play. Lily with a great over the table game with the pen holder, very good at controlling the ball. I think it's gonna be more of a footwork issue between these two teams where Timothy and Ariel shouldn't have much difficulty choosing their shots. Well, you also have young and old. Young, well, older. Older. Not old. <laughs> we should. But Timothy and Ariel's game really complement each other where Timothy, heavy tops when you see that Backhand tip down on the flip. Again, stepping around the forehand serve receive to use a backhand in doubles, becoming more of a trend. There's Barry doing the same thing, but with an underspin deep push. You can tell that Barry knows the tactics where Ariel might be a little more uncomfortable with that mm -hmm. deep push out to the forehand. But all these players very experienced. Lily with a little misdirection off the short serve return. Now as a lay person, well, nine to five was, well, nine to five. 5-9. And we're at game point, 5-10. Lily going for a very aggressive backhand smash. Now the orders obviously will be changing, so look for a slight change in tactics in game number two. Both teams going over to get some short mid-game tips here from their coaches with Timothy and Ariel comfortably winning the first game, 11 to five. I mean, it's pretty good here. We've got uh, a, an Olympic team. Absolutely, the, there is no mixed doubles in the Olympics, but if we did have it, you'd have the number one male US player and clearly after her great performance in London, the number one female although the U.S. women did qualify a team, whereas on the men's side, Timothy was the only mm -hmm. male that qualified for singles. Um, again, great representatives. I mean, Timothy and Ariel, just reading their Facebook fan pages and following them on the USA Table Tennis fan page at Facebook, great experience. They had a chance to meet the First Lady over in London, as well as to visit the White House afterwards. And I know that getting pictures with Phelps and the Dream Team members. Um, definitely a highlight for both of these young players early in their career. So um, again, great positive things ahead of these two players and really the result of a lot of hard work both from them and their supporters. Again, Ariel with a very nice, mm -hmm. not necessarily gonna call it a misdirection, but a very good quality forehand topspin. And a good push there.
Lily very mm. adept at dropping that ball. As it pips out, pen holder, she's over the table. Wouldn't surprise me if Timothy might throw in a deep serve. Oh, beautiful mm. forehand flip yep. there by Ariel. Lily you caught a flip, I <laughs> caught a kill. <laughs> L L Lily made a great return and Ariel just put it away. And credit Barry for doing the exact same thing, but on the short side. I think that uh, Barry and Lily knew coming in that uh, they better put the ball ultra short <laughs> because if it comes in or, any deeper. Or, or put it away so fast. Right. Because these young guns have so many weapons along with great footwork and heavy spin on the ball. Now Lily has won the mixed doubles title with her son Adam in the past. So again, I'm sure when she entered the event, she knew what could happen, but going with the spouse, a little bit more difficult than I believe Adam is probably playing with Judy this year. I believe I saw them last night. 7-3, uh, Ariel and uh, Timothy are uh, having everything pretty well in hand here. I'm not sure that there's enough ammunition on the other side to stop them. And Judy and Adam are the second seeds in the event, so we hopefully will get a chance to see them in the later rounds as well. Very nice forehand flip by Lily. Now watching Ariel and Timothy serve, it's really interesting. I don't know when most of the players play around, uh, they play doubles, their serves go almost on their side at the middle, at the center line, and then go over. Um, rather than, you know, in the middle of their square, let's say. Uh, I wonder, does, is that there, is there a reason for that? Is that I, do I, I think, Lynn, it's more due to the fact that they're trying to serve with their forehand, and they're accustomed to being in their back in court now being jammed over into the side. They're, they don't want to go too wide on it, and they want to keep it to the middle on the other side. And great flip by Barry, mm -hmm. very solid. So we saw earlier in the tournament when we had a chance on the webcast, the umpire had to keep an eye on that bounce in the center because there was a ball that landed to the left of the center line. So those are very close that Ariel is doing, but again, very good control over the placement. Uh, that was not good for them giving it to Ariel's backhand. Yeah, Ari Ariel's <laughs> backhand is, is so lethal, both off the bounce and in the rallies. So, Game point, 10-6. Right-handers are very uncomfortable serving from their forehand side. That ball floated long with Timothy doing a little bit of an inside out forehand flip. You can see him really leaning over the table to get close for their short ball. Very Good nice shot. play by Lily. Lily's really been controlling the short game. And I think with her experience as well as that pen holder, short pips, able to control it nice and short. Mm. Going long, it's now 10-9. With Lily being an Olympian in both 92 and 96, she's played against the best players in the world. She knows how to keep the opponent at bay. And that ball, just a little too short at 11-9 in game number two. Now they did try to make a, they, in fact, they made a valiant attempt at coming back and taking that game. But falling short. But very respectable, coming within two points. And again, we'll go back to the same order that we started in game one, where I think the younger team had a slight advantage with Timothy's ball going to Barry. Okay, and they take their full minute and they're talking to their coaches. The one thing you will see, especially with Ariel and Timothy, they know how strong a player Lily was during her prime. And Lily has coached Ariel at the Global Youth Olympics. So there's the player coach respect level as well. So Lil Ariel's not gonna take anything for granted. She's gonna play every point and definitely get that coaching break advice and take it to full heart. Lily being forced to be aggressive on that serve return. 
And there was Timothy's banana loop, which was devastating. Uh, Timothy, I think of all the top players, probably will step around and use his backhand. He really looks mm. comfortable. He's <laughs> not having any difficulty timing that ball, and he looks nice follow through, moving the ball around. And maybe that's what Jim Butler early saw during their practice sessions in Houston, that Timothy looked good on the server turn, which really sets the best players apart from the players who can just hit it hard. Another good forehand by Ariel. <laughs> that, that ball by Barry, I don't think is going to put too much pressure <laughs> on Ariel taking it from below the table surface. And there's a nice forehand flip. Lily's got to cover both the wide backhand and the forehand. <laughs> so Barry's got to keep his serves really low and short. Otherwise, Lily's going to be on the defensive. Five three Ariel serving. Nice play by Barry. Mm -hmm. Well, it is experience versus uh, youth. Exactly. <laughs> oh, what a backhand down the line. Right. Just, just kind of the opposite of what you would think with a high ball stepping over to play a backhand. But Lily mixing it up with a fast serve. I mean, even five years ago, you didn't see that. I mean, that's just really came on all of a sudden, no? I, I think it really has. And the Chinese started the trend, and now it seems like everyone's copying that. And I'm all, always nervous teaching something so new to, like, the junior players because you don't know where the game will be in six or eight years, and you don't want them to develop kind of new old techniques. But clearly it's something that players are doing. I know Ariel spends a lot of time with the same type of short Backhand tops and off the returns. Whoa. Fooled Barry there with the, the spin. Woo. And Barry knows he has to make a perfect return. Otherwise, he's going to see Ariel's trademark backhand. <laughs> that ball popped up a little bit, but they got. And there's a nice backhand smash. Uh. Barry and Lily <laughs> ha ha had the opportunity, but their footwork wasn't going to give them much of a chance to take advantage. There was a little smile on Lily's face after that one. It's, it's just so difficult for Lily playing a pen holder game where in the past she would step around and use her forehand now. Game point, 10-6. Match point, actually. There it is. 11-6. So expected play from the Olympians to take the match 3-0 against the owners of the Lily Yip Table Tennis Center in New Jersey.